Is this thing on? Is there anyone in there? Are you guys watching this? Fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, how to breed bristlenose plecos. This is my method for breeding bristlenose plecos for profit. You could do it for fun, you could do it for friends, you could do it because you need bristlenose plecos in your fish room or your tanks, or you could do it for profit like me, but these are my tips and tricks. Why don't you guys go ahead and grab a snack and a beverage and stand by for how to breed bristlenose plecos. All right, fishy folks, welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today we're going to talk about how to breed bristlenose plecos. Let me just give you a quick little synopsis about a bristlenose pleco. Uh, they only get to be about three or four inches. There's many, many morphs of them. They're all the same. Uh, they're all the same fish, but there's, you know, the brown, there's chocolate, there's albino, which has red eyes, there's blue eye lemon, which has blue eyes but look like albino, there's long fin, there's short fin, there's super red, there's calico. There's all kinds of different ones. Let me know in the comments down below what I missed because I'm sure I missed. Most of those plecos that I just mentioned are available for sale on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Why don't you guys go ahead and check that out if you want. And then let's talk about how to breed bristlenose plecos. The first thing we need to know is the tank size. I like a 20 long. I wouldn't go anything smaller than a 20, but I like a 20 long. Uh, I like the footprint, I like the square footage of the, the floor for the plecos. Now you might be saying to yourself, but Mike, you only have two 20 longs in your fish room out of 55 tanks. How can you say it's your favorite? This is true. I do only have two and they currently have bristlenose plecos in them. And while I like the footprint for breeding, the footprint for my actual fish room, they're not so great. They take up too much space is what I'm saying. Now if you're building a, a, a rack of tanks, I would go 20 long. If you ha don't have that footprint brace, I would go 20 high, but either one is fine. So you have the tank size, let's talk about what you need. Well, first of all, let's talk about how bristlenose plecos make babies. So female lays eggs, male goes into the cave, you need caves. He fertilizes the eggs, then he fans the eggs and he takes care of them. The babies hatch, he talks nice to them, he makes sure they're confident and they can leave the cave. And that's that. And then. The whole process continues, and so you need caves. Well, I use primarily two different kinds of caves in the fish room. I use these caves from Cobalt, made in the USA, which is great. Um, they have a nice size opening. They're tapered at the end. Um, I'll put a link down below, uh, an Amazon affiliate link. If you click on it and buy something, I make a couple pennies. Um, I would be saying go to your local fish store and look for Pleco Caves, but Right now we're shelter in place in New Jersey and I believe in most states in the country at least soon, if you aren't now, you will be soon, which means you really can only go out for essential items, food, water, um, you know, if you need gas for the car or an emergency, that kind of thing. I'm not gonna send you to your local fish store to buy Pleco Caves right now. When this is all said and done, if you wanna go to your local fish store, please do support your local businesses. But if you want them now, check out my links down below. I'll have a link to these cobalt caves or some other cave if I can't find these. Um, these have a nice round opening. I also like these plant watering spikes, which I've talked about many, many times. I'm cheap. You can buy like four or five of these for the price of like two of these. Um, they have an octagon shaped opening. One, two, uh, sorry, a hexagon shaped opening. That's six. Yeah. Um, they are tapered at the end, which I like. The opening size is also quite good for the pleco. Plecos like to go in and kind of feel the sides, but not be claustrophobic, not be able to get out. Um, so a cave that's too big isn't gonna work, a cave that's too small, they won't go in. I know people that have used PVC pipe, they put a cap at the end, they cut a, a piece of pipe, they put a cap at the end and, and weigh it down and you know whatever, it goes down to the bottom. Um, I never had any luck with PVC caves. I've always used these and have good luck. Um, there's a couple different commercially available caves with different openings. There's the D shape, which I do have some in the fish room. There's squares. Um, I believe there's triangles too. I'm fine by the way. I like the round openings. That seems to work best for me, but you're going to want variety if you have a problem. Let's talk about that for a second. You have your 20 long tank, right? It's, you know, like here. If you set up all your caves facing the same way, that might work. Your plecos may not care and be fine. But if you're having issues, 
move your caves around. Change the angles, maybe turn one around, maybe face one the opposite direction, spread them out. If they're spread out, put them together. You know, you, you want to give them variety. If you have all round openings, look for a D-shape opening. If you have all bigger caves, get smaller caves. Follow what I'm saying? So you have your cave set up, you have your tank. What else do you need in the, in the, in the tank? Well, you need wood. All bristlenose plecos need wood in their tank to help with digestion. Doesn't have to be expensive spider or mapani wood. It could be shola wood, chala wood, whatever you say. It just has to be wood. Be careful with chala wood because uh, chala wood usually has a hole in it and I know plecos, I know people have said plecos have gone in there and gotten stuck, they can't get out. It's a little rough on their fins and they get stuck and die. So just be careful with that. I do use it in my fish room. I make sure the whole, the, uh, the openings are really small so they don't get stuck. But really any wood that you have, any driftwood, small piece in the tank, they will nosh on it, if you will, and that helps with their food digestion. Speaking of food, what should you feed bristlenose plecos if you're looking to breed them? Bristlenose plecos do an average job at cleaning algae, but they do need real food. I have a video about that. I'll put a link up here. Um, you can feed them the commercially based pleco food. I really love the kelp wafers from Northman. It is my favorite commercially based, uh, commercially available pleco food. Um, you could use commercially based food. I like the kelp wafers. I like the shrimp and veggie pellets from Cobalt. <coughs> I'm fine. Not a big fan of the Hikari uh, algae wafers. Their ingredients just aren't that great and I find it really clouds the water. Um, speaking of clouding the water, the, the kelp wafers and the shrimp and veggie pellets, they say it doesn't cloud the water, but I overfeed the bejesus out of my fish and uh, it does cloud the water if you overfeed them, so just be aware. Um, what kind of people food can you feed plecos? Well, my favorite is canned French cut green beans. Again, they like the French cut uh, because French cut, they, they cut the green bean down the length and open them up and it, that shows you the tender and delicious insides of the green beans, and that's what they like. But most green vegetables, spinach, kale, uh, lettuce, broccoli, they'll eat. Sweet peppers they'll eat. Watermelon, cantaloupe, pumpkin, um, squash, cucumber, zucchini. Most fruits and vegetables they'll eat. I'd stay away from the acidic, you know, the citrus fruits. But other than that, pretty much anything goes with plecos. <clears throat> um, so we have the tank size, we have wood in the tank, we have caves, filtration. I love sponge filters, you know that. They're cheap, they're very efficient at biological media, but they're not so great at mechanical filtration. And plecos are messy, especially when you're breeding them. You're gonna have excess mulmon detritus in the tank, which for me is no problem, but for you, you may not want that as much. I like it because the pleco babies, just like guppy babies, it gives them a place to eat, gives them a place to hide, um, it's more natural for them. But if you don't like that, you're gonna want some mechanical filtration. You could go with a box filter for sure. You could also go with a hang on back. And I do have a hang on the back that I do kind of rotate through my pleco breeding tanks to help uh, clean up some of the, the detritus in the tank. Um, but you're gonna want a, a uh, intake filter because you don't want those tender and delicious pleco babies being sucked up into the hang on back. So just be aware of that. Same thing with a box filter. If, if the slits or holes are too big um, and the, the suction is too much, you could get a pleco baby in there and it could die or get damaged. So just be aware of that. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, we have tank size, we have filtration, we have caves, we have feeding, we have wood in the tank. What do you need to do? Well, all you really need to do is feed them good high quality food. I really like the North Fin Bug Pro. Um, they're little soldier fly larvae uh, discs, granules I think they're called, but they they mostly float, but if you like throw them in the water, they'll kind of sink to the bottom and the plecos go crazy for them. Now, I have the can here because I'm not sure. They have 44% protein, which is a little high for plecos, so I wouldn't feed it every day. Maybe every other day, every third day, every fifth feeding, however you want to do it but I use it and it does trigger spawning uh, sometimes. Um, also, it's small enough and it'll eventually uh, become soft enough where even pleco fry can nibble on it, which is, you know, it's delicious for them, so. All right. <clears throat> Plecos, very easy to breed. 
they go in, the, the female goes in the cave, deposits eggs, the male goes, fertilizes them, then he fans them, takes care of them, talks nice to them. They come out, and then the whole process starts over again. Now, a couple of things. Do you need more males or more females? In my experience, it doesn't really matter. Um, plecos aren't monogamous, but if you have a male pleco and a female pleco that have bred, they will continue to breed in most cases. If you have more than one male in a tank, uh, they may get aggressive toward each other, especially around breeding time. So just make sure you have enough space for them. That's why I like the 20 long. That's why I like more than one cave as well. You want to give them options because that one male or that one female may have two or three partners. It works. Procreation, right? All right, fishy folks, that does it for my uh, How to Breed Bristle Nose Plecos video. I hope you guys liked it. Please check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. And also, if you would be so kind as to check out my cooking channel, Michael's Eats, I would really appreciate it. Thanks, and have a great day. Um, most of the ones I mentioned, I do have for sale on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Why don't you guys go ahead and check that out if you want. And, um, yeah. All right. No, I, I, I got nothing. I like, I just had a brain fart. Oh my God. Now you guys might be saying to yourself, but my, you only have two bristle nose plecos. You don't have two bristle nose plecos. Oh, real quick, another food I like are the uh, Northin Bug Bites. And <clears throat> while we're talking about food, uh, I, you know I buy all my food at supercichlids.com, my friends Martin and Lisa. Check them out, check them out online. If you need any supplies, I know they're still shipping uh, because the post office will come to them and pick up their packages. Um, and they can also drop them at the post office without actually seeing anyone. So check out supercichlids.com, buy lots of food from there. Make sure you write a note, hey, Mike from Michael's Fish Room sent me. We love you guys too. They like that stuff. Anyway, um, I like the North Fin uh, Bug Bites, not Bug Bites. Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today's video, how to breed plecos. That's right folks, how to breed bristle nose plecos, also called ancestrous. But that's too hard for me to say, so I'm just gonna call them bristle nose. Anyway folks, I got an itch on the nose, so we're gonna start over. <coughs> I'm fine, trust me, you can buy the shirt. Fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Now, I think we should do Sunday Fun Day. Okay. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday Fun Day to you. Hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, yesterday in New Jersey, we got the word to shelter in place. Basically, you can't go out unless it's for an essential reason. Uh, like, you know, you have to work an essential business. I'm not the news. You don't, you don't need to hear this from me. All right, fishy folks, look, first thing, Lou. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna give you my uh, how to breed bristle nose. That's dumb, that's, that's just freaking stupid. If I ever redo the fish room or expand to a pleco section, I'll only use 20 longs. I like them so much. What I like about them is the footprint, the, the, the actual, yeah. Anyway, these caves, um, I forgot what I was saying. Completely forgot. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Now, hiya fishy folks, happy Sunday. Welcome. Hiya 
fishy fo- <clears throat> Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, how to breed bristlenose plecos. That's right folks, how to breed ancestrous plecos. See what I did there? Because they're the same bristlenose and ancestrous. Bristlenose is just easier to say, so that's what I say. So, yeah. Hi, some home. So real quick, since you're watching these bloopers, I filmed this video. I took like three takes today, this morning. It's 7.24 on Sunday morning. I started about 6, 6 a.m. Cause you know, why sleep? And I made a video and I didn't really think I said everything I wanted to say. So I filmed it again and I'm like, that's great. And then I'm doing some work in the fish and I'm like, I didn't mention wood. Personals Pecos need wood. How could you not mention wood, you dumbass? So, as I was doing maintenance and looking for a water leak, I had the water change system running, and that's why you hear some pumps and water. And sorry, but I gotta film it because uh, you know soon the family's gonna be up, and I got homework to do, and you don't care. Here we go, folks. <coughs> I'm fine. 